You're going to compare in proper fractions. You're going to see some directions that look like this. Circle the denominator of the fraction with the greatest value. Sometimes it might say what here instead of greatest value? Least. Good, least value sometimes. Okay, so they're going to have some fractions. They're probably not going to be written with a little slash like that. They're going to be written, you know, up and down. But what you have to do first is show what each improper fraction is equal to as a mixed number or a whole number. So first we have one fourth. Can you change one fourth into a different fraction? Or is no, one fourth is just one fourth. So I don't have to write anything right down here. I just leave it blank. One fourth is still one fourth. If you want to write one fourth down there, you can. But all I'm doing is copying it, so that's not really showing my work. And then here I have 10 over 2. That's a division problem. That's an improper fraction. I have to change that to a mixed number. So what is 10 divided by 2, everybody? 5. five. Good. So I put a 5 right down here. This is 7 over 3, which means 7 divided by 3. What's 7 divided by 3? How many 3's are in 7? 2. 2 holes. And what's the leftover? 1. 1. Third. third, right? We keep the same denominator when we make our fraction in our mixed number. And then 1 7th is just 1 7th, right? So. I could write that there if I want to, or I don't have to write anything. And this is 5 divided by 5. What is 5 oh, divided by 5? 1. Okay, so now I'm going to compare a fourth, 5, 2, and 1 third, 1 seventh, and 1. Which is the greatest out of all these? Well, that would be 5. 5 is bigger than 1, which is bigger than 1 seventh or 1 fourth, and 5 is bigger than 2 and a third, so 5 is the largest. And you'd circle the denominator up here in the actual problem. Don't circle the denominator down here or circle the 5 or something like that. Now, let's say they ask for the least value. Which one would you pick for the least value? Uh, one fourth. Is 1 fourth less than 1 seventh? No. No, if you cut a pizza into seven pieces, you're going to get smaller pieces than if you cut it into four pieces. So 1 seventh would be the smallest uh, fraction if they're asking for the least. That would be the denominator that you'd want to use there. Five. Uh, 